Uh, ladies and gentlemen, a uh, B29, and I am going to turn it into a wall-mounted clock. And uh, it's been a project in the back of my mind for quite some time. I wanted to take a classic or a, I want to say a basic kit, and uh, turn it into a uh, wall-mounted clock. And I couldn't figure out exactly how I wanted to go about it or which kit I wanted to do. So I finally, uh, finally decided on a B29. And this is the Atlantis uh, reissue of the old Revell kit B29, and uh, it's a um, it's an old kit, and it does have a few little fit problems, but other than that, it's it's real basic, real simple to uh, get together. So I got the wings uh, together, got the fuselage uh, together, and the wings uh, in as well. So again, I like to show the. I don't like to bore everyone with basic construction, but I did, uh, got everything clamped together and I almost done, uh, sanding the, uh, seam on the fuselage there, uh, a little water and, uh, wet dry sandpaper in a circular motion. That way, if you ever go across when you're sanding, it'll, uh, give you some, uh, I don't want to say dead spots, uh, flat spots. Uh, if you go in a circle pattern, everything will be even. But anyway, I got that uh, pretty much uh, sanded down. I got the uh, wings uh, sanded, and uh, it's going to be primered in black. So I went ahead and just kept on using black primer because I'm going to paint the whole thing in primer and then paint it with the uh, aluminum uh, type color there when we get to the uh, painting stage. So Basic construction, I just got to add a few little things on here, but uh, I wanted to make a clock. As you notice, there's a hole uh, drilled out there. And uh, one thing I did do is I cut out the uh, bottom, I won't say the Bombay doors. That is to, uh, I picked up, you can get them uh, online or at the craft store, these little clock uh, do-it-yourself kits. Drilled the uh, corresponding hole. And uh, you got to get the, uh, I want to say the longer of the uh, shaft there. And it just fits in like so. That way you can put the uh, nut and uh, everything on here and uh, get it good and tight. And it does come with a, uh, a wall mounted bracket that you put on there. Or excuse me, something like that. And then uh, you'll be able to hang it on the wall. Uh, that way the battery uh, fits uh, really snug on here. Uh, it's more flat surface, plus it gave me a little more thread for the uh, clock hands. And uh, if you see it, it's not too bad. It's not. If you want to go bigger, I guess you can make a big airplane clock. But I thought ah, for the first one, we will uh, start out small. But you only see the battery uh, or the mechanism uh, very little. So once that would be like... Pretty much like that on up against the wall with the uh, clock hands. That'll be, uh, you know, uh, shouldn't be that much noticeable. So, as for the clock, and uh, I got to decide on which hands I want to do, I'm going to take, uh, I was thinking more, I was thinking about vinyl either for the numbers or I may, the craft store does have uh, plastic numbers. And, uh, well, forgive me here, something like that, like, you know, It'll be 12, you know, 6, 9, and 3. And uh, I want to have them on the uh, wings, have it on the uh, fuselage, uh, and then, of course, the hands. So I thought, uh, you know, it's just something, uh, a traditional kit, but a different take on it. Not necessarily, you know, a uh, building, you know, a standard model kit, but building a standard model kit, but and turning it into a clock. And then, uh, and the reason why I decided on the uh, B29 is doing a little research. I like to do the uh, obscure uh, planes and uh, vehicles that uh, you don't see. This B29 is actually going to be called the, the Tinker's Heritage. This is uh, the B29. That's a static display at Tinker's Air Force Base here in the uh, great state of Oklahoma. And uh, that's what they got painted on the hull on uh, that B-29. It's actually, this one's been in service, but I don't know if it actually had a name uh, the first go around and the second time that they uh, decided to put that nose art on there uh, for the uh, Tinker's Heritage. Uh, again, I don't know if that actually saw combat or they just named it after that when it became a, 
uh, display ship, you know. But anyway, that's what it, this is going to be, the Tinker's uh, Heritage uh, B29 wall clock. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I got going on today. I wanted to uh, show the uh, basic construction. Uh, it's very, very simple, uh, you know, sand, uh, prime, and repeat. And uh, that's just about done. And then uh, hopefully next video I'll have the uh, all painted decaled and uh, the clock installed. So that's what I have got going on today. Stay tuned for next exciting uh, episode.